Hi there Sagittarius, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. In this little reading, Saggy, what we're going to look at is your destiny, life purpose, dharma, any karmic life lessons that want to come through. So what I'm going to do is shuffle these out, Saggy, and when I get called to stop, I'm going to find the Wheel of Fortune in the deck. And that's the card that's really associated with karma, divine timing, and destiny. Destiny and fortune and fate in the tarot. So that's our marker, and we'll then be taking the two sides either, sorry, the two cards either side of that. And that will be your spread. One more. Okay, let's find that wheel of fortune. Wow, Saggy, so much earth to your fire here. That's very interesting in itself. So straight off the bat, Saggy, what I'm really sensing here is that a lot of your, you know, your purpose in this life is to create stability and security for yourself. And that can be, of course, financially and com coming through is also creating family. So, you know, it's interesting though, but we have this play of kind of like holding on as well. So the four of pentacles here, if I start here, can be about, you know, that, that sort of lack, lack or scarcity kind of energy. So maybe, maybe this is how it starts in terms of money and finances and that kind of thing. You know, maybe we've come from a, a family that didn't have a lot of resources or maybe from past lives and that kind of thing. And we start earning and we just really have this mindset of like holding on and money doesn't grow on trees and all of those sorts of things. But if we put that energy out there into the world, then, you know, we're really going to get this kind of like, throttled abundance is what I'm hearing here so how can we keep this beautiful flow of like giving and receiving and 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 you know taking take give and take that's what it is you know we have to keep a looser grip is what I'm really feeling here so the four of pentacles can also be a lesson of don't keep yourself small make sure that you you know live into your dreams and that you set high goals for yourself and don't sort of sell out on those there's also an energy here of guarding the heart. So some of you have a life lesson to tune into more of your heart energy, your compassion, your empathy, your intuition, your ability to nurture. Instead of, you know, cutting it off, sometimes people cut off and they don't express their feelings or, you know, really show it. So really working into that energy can be important for you as well. The Ten of Pentacles yeah family so important in this life guys some of you might really want to relocate to be near family to live close or even in the same home as your as your parents and the grandparents the kids the pets all of that kind of thing i feel like a lot of you are driven to create this very secure beautiful kind of utopian home, home environment where you have enough money you have you know a beautiful home whatever that means to you it could be small could be large it's really about wanting that kind of um, secure family life is what I'm really feeling the knight of pentacles here is interesting um, it's really about efficiency and planning and that kind of thing knowing the steps to take to reach a goal, breaking it down into the milestones. So in terms of your your work, your purpose for the for your working life in um, in this lifetime, it could be something to do with planning, events coordination, you know, planning out. Um, I'm I'm thinking project planning. Uh, it could be project management, that kind of thing. You're really good at seeing all the different steps and incrementally, you know, what tasks you need to take to achieve them. So that's coming through as well. With all the pentacles here, I'm, I'm thinking accountancy, financial planning. I think that a lot of you will become really good with money. So that could be like a key lesson around that. Maybe it starts off as a bit of a scarcity thing. You overcome that lesson and then you become quite abundant. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is also the counterpart of the King of Pentacles, who is a master abundance creator. Something else that's coming through strong here is real estate, guys. With the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, some of you might um, be in the real estate industry, the building industry, that kind of thing. You know, even interior design, like creating space and home, it's really coming in here. 
The Queen of Pentacles, if you are a female, is the mother energy. So some of you have that life purpose to become a, a mother or a nurturer. Actually, no, any gender. Sorry, I do apologize. You know, it's the nurturer of the family. So some of you are really called to, to love, to nurture, to provide in that way and really build that security for others as well as for yourself. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles lim links to Capricorn and the Capricorn energy is the devil in the tarot. So some of you have a lesson in overcoming um, the toxic energies. It could be codependency, it could be addictions. Um, and again, of course, it can be debt situations. Maybe, you know, money stories and debt from either your parents or passed down the family line is coming through. But you are the one that focuses your energy, who rebuilds, who overcomes and really builds abundance in your life. I think I touched on this before, um, Saji, but just coming back to this Four of Pentacles, there is a message here of making sure that you don't operate in the comfort zone too much. Because if you do that, you know, you will play smaller than what you really are and potentially won't realize that dream and that goal and that vision that you really have. Sometimes with the, the Four of Pentacles, we need to leave a sense of home, leave a sense of security in order to gain greater security. So it's kind of a paradox there. Sometimes we need to kind of release the very thing that we're trying to build up so that we can put ourselves ultimately in the better position to do that down the track. And the other thing that I'm seeing here, guys, is a very much a connection to the land. The Knight of Pentacles here has been out there working the land to take the seed. It's about the harvest. The Queen of Pentacles also has all of this, this foliage around. So some of you could be even in you know, agriculture, um, farming, horticulture, um, viticulture, or that kind of thing, working on the land for making your financial resources. Yeah, so I'm also seeing here that some of you might work in a more met metropolitan or city environment for a period of time to make your money to save and gather those resources. And then once you've, you've done that, then there's a move out to, to country, to land, to kind of start a, a self-sufficient kind of life here, which is what I'm really seeing in these cards. And then maybe, you know, having this this villa and this kind of like country family life away from that. But there could be a period of sacrifice in order to get there, in order to build those resources, in order to make that dream happen. Okay, Saji, well, I'm going to leave it there. And I hope this resonated for some of you. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so it may or may not. Uh, drop me a comment, guys, if you're cool to share. I read them all and do my best to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy, and see what the collective themes are. Saji, it has been a pleasure. I will see you back here very soon for another one. Bye for now.